I'm Chris Sabato and I do a lot of sports production with BMix and this video is really a response to a video put out by Doug Chicatano talking about zooming in on replays in BMix. And as I was watching his video, I was really thinking it's just kind of amazing that two people could just have completely different approaches to the same thing in BMix. And as I was watching, I was like, this is not how I would do it. And so that's what this video is. And it's uh, just kind of show my thought process on a, on a different way to accomplish the same thing. My way is not better or worse. It's just different and how I would approach the same thing. So let's take a look at VMAX. And here's my kind of sample setup. We'll just assume for this case that camera one is VMAX replay A, camera two is VMAX replay B. Uh, and then input number three is then our zoomed in version of whatever those. So if we look at uh, input three, we can see that basically it's an empty input and I'm just changing what is on layer one. And it's super easy to swap inputs into layers, um, so that's why I'm doing that. If I'm not using two replay channels, if I'm just using channel A, then I wouldn't have to mess with this. I could just do a virtual input of channel A and be done with it. But this allows me to swap between them pretty easily or really any other input, um, not just a replay input. I could do any other input and do a pan and scan on. And that kind of gets to my method, and it's pan and scan. That's how I would approach it, and that I'm going to zoom in and then move that box around a little bit. So, for example, um, let's just kind of take a look at input two, um, or no, input three. So input three is my zoom. I can zoom in and just kind of move around as I want, right? And then merge to that and merge out of that. And how I'm doing that is with Companion and the Stream Deck. You could do all of this with, with VMix shortcuts. I am not a big fan of VMix shortcuts. Uh, they're great if when you're first starting out, but they're cumbersome and they're not as flexible, and I just think it's way easier to do with Companion. So I do everything with Companion, but this could absolutely be done with VMix shortcuts and an X keys or whatever controller surface you're using. So let's take a look at my Stream Deck setup. It's pretty simple. I've got to zoom in and zoom out, up and down, left and right, reset, merge, and then I can choose the layers. And so, um, like you saw, I can just use plus to zoom in, minus to zoom out, and I could kind of just move around to wherever I want to zoom in on. And I don't want to go too far. I'll get to the edge. And so there we go. And I can just merge in, merge out. Super easy, in and out. And then I can reset the zoom. And I'm back to where I started. So let's take a look in Companion how that's kind of set up. So in Companion, each one of these buttons are basically the same thing. It's all the same vMix position uh, action, and then I can define the zoom, the x, y, and I can increase or decrease, and plus and minus. And I could do all this with vMix shortcuts too. And the other thing I have is this variable for the input. And this is one of the ways where Companion is just way more flexible than shortcuts. Um, I can define a custom variable, which I have defined as a zoom input. And right now my zoom input is three. And so I can change that and that will modify it for every single one of these buttons. So if I move things around in vMix, it's super easy just to come in and change this variable to whatever it is. And I could also give it, uh, I could also assign it to a name too and not just uh, the letter. So I could assign it to, you know, replay zoom, which is the name of that input. But that's it. Um, it's super simple. I can zoom in, zoom out, move things around, and it's just kind of a different way to set up that replay zoom in vMix.